In today's video, we're opening an entire case of the new Age of Overlord Yu-Gi-Oh set. What's up guys, we're back with another Age of Overlord opening. This is gonna be a hyped case opening. And before we get started, I wanna remind you guys, I do have an affiliate link with this set. So if you do like the set and you wanna buy some, check out my affiliate link down below. There's also a 5% discount code with Sassiato. And before we get into the opening, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away a booster box of Age of Overlord. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Favorite card in Age of Overlord or your favorite card we pull in this set. And what quarter century rare should we pull in this video? All right, as we get into the opening, I wanna remind you guys that the giveaway winners have been posted on the community tab for the last two Fridays so go check it out make sure you didn't win anything if you did hit me up with the instructions on that post but I want to remind you guys if you're watching this to make sure that you did not miss anything let's see what we can get we have a full case opening today snake eye ash a lot of good cards in this set we're looking for the SP we're looking for that Zeus guy he's a, not really Zeus but he's a XC's level 12. He's an ultra. We pulled him yesterday, but we want to pull a lot more. I'm hoping that we could pull amazing Jin. That's a good card. We're going to see today if we can make our money back on this case opening. Those commons will probably help. Uh, this is a pretty, I mean, cases are pretty expensive, but if we're pulling, you know, decent commons, it will definitely help. All right. I just double checked and it's already not worth a dollar. So unfortunately, those will not be assisting in our uh, attempts to make our money back in this video. But we had hope for a quick second. It is going to save me time on the uh, the case opening, not pulling every single one of those out, though. Uh, Realm, we have Eulogy. We have the Sinful Spoils. Ken is another good one. Uh, Earthbound Serpent. And there it is right off the bat. Superstar Slayer Typhon Sky Crisis. One of the best cards in the set. The best ultra rare in the set. Let's see if the card is nice. No damage, right? Okay, looks like that's actually pretty clean. That's one of the best cards in the set. That's a great way to start this case opening. We still have like 280 packs to go. More than that, actually, I think. Uh, so we got a long way. I'm probably, I'm, I'm pack tricking right now, but uh, you know, if it starts, this is gonna be a long video, so I'm probably not gonna be doing that the whole time. A uh, little wrap, we have the miracle. We have Happy Guidance of the Horse. Very nice. So if you guys are excited, don't forget, I do have the affiliate link. And speaking of affiliate links, Rarity Collection's in two weeks. So if you decide, I don't really want this, I'd rather wait for Rarity Collection. I also have a discount for that. So go check that out in the description. You guys can grab some Rarity Collection. That is gonna be a crazy opening. I'm planning on doing a very long live stream of that one. So if you guys wanna see something insane, you know, you want to see me open all day like I've done a few times before. This is probably going to be the one that takes the absolute longest Rux and Special. See, I just, I Rux and Special more when I don't do the, the pack trick. That was the first time I didn't do the pack trick and I Rux and Special. It's interesting. When you, when it's like the last card, it's easier not to do it. Okay, Agdotic, we have the Startling, we have Origami, we have Stars Align, Full Armor, we have Supreme King, White Psychic. See, I didn't do it that time. It's interesting how that works. I guess because there's so many other cards, I'm not like holding on to that last one uh, as well. It's kind of in limbo a little bit. All right, I mix these up quite a bit, so the, it'll probably be pretty random. I rocks and special, but not to the rare, so that's good. We have the uh, Testina Porter, Xyz, and the Canopic Protector. And another reminder, these are pre-release prices because this is coming out on Thursday. Tomorrow, Friday, everyone will be able to post on TCG Player, like you, me, like everyone will be able to take their cards post them for sale and that'll create a lot more competition for the sales and then the prices for most things unless they're really really good go down so keep that in mind they're going to be a little bit higher make it it'll make it a little easier for us to make our money back on this case opening uh in theory because like tomorrow they're going to go down and i'm not really going to probably make my money back but hopefully we can make it back on this uh, there was a ruxa special theoretical example burning dragon burning dragon's a really cool looking card look at this that is a that seems like an old school card to be honest. It feels it feels old school. I like it. All right, we have the let's do this. This might help me a little bit. We have the Nephilibus, the Agdotic Overlord. Okay, so it's just supers again. If you guys like these long videos, sit back, relax. This is going to be a long one because it's a full case. And you guys know, I mean, I can't open that fast. Synchro Rumble, another Rux and Special. All right, 288 packs in this video. Tomorrow, speaking of live streams, we are going to be live. We're going to be doing it. Oh, Manadium Trisuk. Sukusta, all right. All right, that was a struggle. But we'll be live streaming this opening tomorrow. I would normally do it on like a Saturday, but I'm going to YCS Indy. If you're gonna be at YCS Indy, make sure you come say hi. King Sarcophagus, I think that's one of the better ultras. So that's a good pull. Very nice. So I will be uh I'm planning to go there. Unless something goes wrong, I should be there. And that means King Sarcophagus back to back. That's pretty cool. That means that we can't do the stream on Saturday. So I'm gonna do it on Friday before I leave. 
and uh, probably around like noon or something Friday. So a lot of you guys might be watching, you know, work or something. So, but tune in if you guys want to see some amazing pulls. We're going to be searching for some epic quarter centuries. I actually got to decide which quarter century we want to pull before I do that. It's got to be the SP, I guess, because that's by far the most expensive card. And it's also a really strong card. So I feel like, you know, and it's like, oh, Visa Samsara. I think people are like really pumped about, uh, you know, it's kind of like IP related. And you know, everybody loves IP. So that's going to be a pretty nice card. Uh, I think that's going to be the one we go for. So hopefully we can pull that tomorrow. I'm excited for that. Going to have a lot of packs to open. It's going to be intense. We have the fire recovery. Let's see what we can do here. We have Watuna, the tuna, snake eyes, Flamberg, dragon. Watch out, snake eyes. A little G.I. Joe action. What else can we pull? A couple secrets have been pulled. Not the big one yet. We want to get that SP. We have realm energy, XCs, UFO light. Watch out for the UFOs. wonder if that's related to the... Uh, the new alien, the invisible alien, Snake Eye Birch. Okay, fall into Stina Birch. What else can we get? We have Supreme King. We have Full Armor Dragon Knight Lancer. Like those XCs. Couple secrets so far. Still looking for that SP in this video. Oh, and yesterday too, I didn't get one. We have Seed Spitting Saplings. I think that's a pretty fun card. What else can we get? Pit Knight Philly. We have the TG Mighty Striker. I can't believe TGs are in here. That's kind of crazy. That definitely looks like a TG card. Origami Goddess and uh, Return of the Testina. Haven't done one of these in a while. I mean, thanks to uh, Konami actually not releasing a set for like a month, which was like a miracle. Uh, but don't worry, they'll be back on it soon. We have not had any new openings in a while. So I went like a month without any uh, new case openings or anything. So it's nice to be back. Uh, we're definitely going hard on this and Rarity Collection in the next couple weeks. So hopefully you guys like it and like the new stuff. Rarity Collection, I'm extremely pumped. I'm excited to see how it looks. I mean, Japanese Rarity Collection is so amazing. Trish. Trustukta, Trustukta. I can't see that card. So I think that's going to be really, really fun, and I'm I'm excited. But first, we got to uh, open up this set, which actually turns out to be a really good set. So I'm excited that people are like, well, I think some people are not happy with the set. I think two of the cards are a little too good, but there's at least something worth pulling in here. So that's good for the set opening, at least. Uh, maybe not necessarily the format. I don't know how good it is for that. I personally have not been playing. Uh, recently, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon on Twitch. Haven't done much uh, Master Duel, not Duel Links. I haven't done Duel Links either, but that too. For a while, I was actually playing a decent amount of Master Duel, and I was kind of, you know, that's a few months behind as some of the cards are not in there, but I actually kind of had a good, decent grasp of some of the decks, but it's been a little bit since then. It was like right before Cash Tira got there, so I haven't done a lot of Cash Tira. Then we have a uh, original Synthal Sin Spoil Snake. I didn't really show that. Let's show that real quick. Yeah, so uh, because we've been doing a lot of Pokerux content, I have not really been keeping up with the actual Master Duel meta. But uh, yeah, if you guys have not followed Pokerux, we, we passed 4,000 subscribers the other day, which is pretty exciting. So go check that out. I posted some really uh, videos that I'm really happy with. I think they're really good. Um, we've definitely upped the quality of the content on that channel. So if you have not checked it out and you like Pokemon, uh, especially Pokemon like kind of Nuzlocke runs and stuff, go check that out. Give it a chance. I think you guys will like the videos if you could like that kind of stuff. If you don't like that kind of stuff, I don't expect you to go check it out. So uh, don't feel any pressure. But if you do want to, then go ahead. All right, we have uh, Full Armor XCs. We have the Burphomet, the Mythical King of Phantom Beasts. Cool. We have the uh, ooh, Culinary Confrontation. Mini packs still remain. Can we pull, what is this? Teray? We target one face of monster in the main. Monster zone has activated its effect on the field. It's turn destroyed. And if you do special summon this card to the zone that monster was in, you can only use this effect of Tara. It's a hand trap. Common hand trap. That's interesting. Kind of cool, actually. It only destroys. It doesn't negate. So it's probably not going to be that good. Sometimes it's good to destroy. But nowadays in Yu-Gi-Oh, if you don't negate their effect, then it's like it's not nearly as good as, you know, getting it off the field is not that important. Back in the day, like destroying was huge. You know, you put out your blue eyes. You put out even something with an effect. If it activates the effect, if you could get rid of the monster, it wasn't really a big deal. Things have changed quite a bit since then card probably would have been pretty nice maybe back in the day the problem with back in the day though not blue eyes because it has to activate an effect so it has to have an effect it has to have an effect that is not really good if it oh there we go wanted seeker of the spoils secret rare very nice so that effect has to kind of not matter like you know it, it only it only matters if it's on the field i guess which a lot of times they'll have protection if it's like that so i don't know if it's that useful areas the labyrinth butler and labyrinth cards getting more secrets that card seems like it might be decent. Okay, we have Stars Align. We have the Xyz Armor Torpedo. Pretty cool card scanner. What can we pull here? We have Ken the Dragon Warrior. Still no SP, so we're, 
but I don't know if it's like short printed. There's, a, I mean, you never know with Konami. It's a good chance it probably is. Also trying to still work through my throat is a little bit messed up from being gone. We have M City Glory of Horus Horus cards. Wow, there's some weird stuff in here. There's like Horus and TG. I like that Horus is getting some support though. Horus is really cool and it's classic. XC's Armor Fortress, Transcendosaurus in the link spot. I just glanced over to check on these cards. This card's like 60 bucks right now, and this card somehow is $38, so I guess it's not gonna be a terrible card. So those are actually really good pulls. Obviously, those prices will probably change, but I mean, if they start really high, they usually indicate it's gonna be one of the better cards in the set because, you know, people are expecting them to be good. Sometimes they can be wrong and the card will just suck, you know, once it actually gets into play, but that's actually pretty amazing. I can't believe that horse card's actually expensive. So is the horse archetype like actually gonna be good? That's kind of cool if it is. Okay, what else can we pull? We have another super. Can we get that SP for the first time? We have not gotten one yet. We have soul, we have happy, guidance of Horus. He's happy. <laughs> Watch out. What if you say happy or ha hoppy or something like that? I don't know. I like happy, that's funny. We have the, ooh, blessing of Horus. I wonder if this one's good as well. This one's 10 bucks, so that's definitely not the good one, but uh, still, okay. I and mean, that's probably gonna end up being a $1 card, but. Let's see how all the horror stuff does. Maybe it'll be decent. Synchro Rumble, super rare. Lots of packs to go. No SP yet, though. I'm just throwing that out there. We have not pulled one yet. We have Switch Point. That's the train. Very nice. Can we get the big call? What's the SP even going for? $85 at the moment. That is a lot of money. 85 bucks. Uh, and by the way, I'm just I'm glancing at the outside of the price guide. I'm not clicking in and seeing what the lowest listing is. So could be variance there as well. So keep that in mind. But 85 is what the, the average listing is at the moment, which with the normal stuff, it's more accurate because there's not like any damage or light play, like throwing it off or, you know, different conditions because they just came out. Usually sometimes they'll come out with the pack damage, but not a ton of listings like that yet. Age, give us something craze. Age craze, let's go. We have Exceed the Pendulum. Pendulum cards, I love Pendulum. How about you guys? All right, sorry guys, the, my phone is what I record with and it ran out of space. So I deleted a bunch of stuff and it still is being weird. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. But if it does, you guys know what happened. Escape goat. We have, oh, I thought that was a super for a second. We have the TG all clear. Keep it going. Hopefully we can continue to record the rest of the way. It's been a battle to finish this video. It's a long video. Sometimes that happens with the longer ones. It'll keep having issues. All right. Let me see if I can pull the SP. As long as it doesn't do it right when we pull the SP, it'll be fine, right? If we pull the SP, which at this rate is becoming a question. All right, Ogdoetic. We need a little bit of luck. I've lost my rhythm because I had to stop for like 10 minutes and try to figure out what was going on. All right, my... Phone is not cooperating today. There we go. The divinity that defies darkness. Okay, what a name. Justina, the divinity that defies, that defies darkness. Defies, not devise. Interesting card there. We have the Canopic Protector. All right, good stuff. The question is, where is the SP? The Game Boy Advance SP, where is it? Still searching for it. We have not yet pulled the backlit Game Boy. The flippity flip. We have the... Mm, yum, 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 yum. I'm not even gonna try to say those. That archetype is the bane of my existence. There's no way I can read that. I'm sorry, I just can't, okay? I need somebody to pronounce it for me. We got something. I forgot that we're gonna get a lot of these. We're gonna get like three or four of them. Three, I think, is the average. Okay, let's see, TG Close, let's do it before the, the phone dies or does something weird. Let's see if we can pull the SP 25th anniversary. Come on, Watsuna, Transcendosaurus, oh! It's the, what does this say? Dark hole dragon. I can't read these. It's literally impossible. Another reason Starlights are way better. You can actually read the name. Look at this. How are you supposed to read this? Look at that. Try and read it. You got to really like, it's really hard to read. You got to get in the right lighting. Otherwise it's like, bleh. All right, dark hole dragon. Very cool. I don't think this is a big one, but this is a really cool card. It's dark hole dragon. You got to love it. All right, our first 25th anniversary. I totally forgot about those. <laughs> I was just thinking, ah, oh, yeah, we'll get, you know, Starlights and stuff. I was so excited about the SP. I forgot those were a thing that exists in this set. TG Glaive Blaster. Okay, not that crazy. Let's get that SP 25th anniversary and just ruin tomorrow's stream. That'd be pretty cool. We have XC's Armor Fortress. We have the Invasion Alien Species. Invasive Alien Species. Wait, I thought it was Invisible. Can I not read? Invasive, not invisible. What in the world? Burning Dragon. I think I said invisible all of yesterday's video. Great. Okay, come on. Give us a big SP secret rare. I'm not even asking for the 25th. I'm asking for the secret. We can do it. We can do it. You got to believe. 
Gotta believe, guys, we have the Watts, the Ken Canopic Protector. We have the Realm Energy. Okay, that is not an SP. That's not even a Game Boy, much less an SP. Not even a Game Boy Color. Come on, we have a Happy. Happy, I wanna be happy as well. Let's go, give us something that'll make us happy. Okay, the Black Witch, the uh, Diabell Star. Very nice. That thing is at 37 bucks right now, so that is seems like a decent one as well. We'll see what it ends up on Friday and uh, see if it holds up. We have the card scanner again. We still have a lot of packs. You can at least see the top of the packs in the background now though. So we're making progress. We have Mighty Striker again. I don't know. I mean, I doubt we're even halfway through. Are we halfway through? I have no idea how long this video is right now because I've had to stop two different times because of my phone being weird. So uh, who knows? We might be like 15 minutes in. We might be 25 minutes in. I couldn't tell you. Okay. Oh, another one. It's an Xyz. Are we going to get the Zeus? Is that coming to 25th? Is it coming one? I'm sure it does, right? Oh, it does. The second best one. Let's go. Come on, card scanner. Let's see if we can get, what's it called? Superstar Slayer Typhon Sky Crisis Quarter Century of Yofo Light. A scapegoat. Starring Knight. Come on, Chino Baron. We have a Lillarap and yes! Superstar Slayer Typhon Sky Crisis. The second best 25th anniversary rare in the set let's go what a pull all right this is it's worth the phone issues it was worth it this is a really really nice card that is the second best card in the set i am pumped now all we need is to pull the sp we pulled the second best quarter century before an sp secret rare that was pretty amazing oh yeah that's a great card it's a really good card that's a super super good pull it's not a super, it's a uh, 25th anniversary, actually. A quarter century secret rare, as some would call it. But I'm pumped about that. That's two quarter centuries now. It's usually three in here. I think you can get four occasionally. That would be really cool if we did. Uh, I'd be down for that. Seed spitting saplings. Talk about a great pull. I mean, Dark Hole Dragon, I'm guessing, is not crazy. I don't even see it at the top. So it's, yeah, it's a $50 card. So the Zeus is more like a $200 card at the moment. The Dark Hole Dragon is less than... <laughs> Then a couple of the secrets, so that, if that tells you anything, it's not that good. But we made up for it big time with the Superstar Slayer Typhon Sky Crisis. The new Zeus. Okay, that is a really damaged common. Okay, love to see that. TG all clear. Still a lot of packs to go. We've had a couple of awesome pulls, but we have yet to pull the SP Secret Rare. I'm still looking for that. Snake Eyes Oak. Sorry, Snake Eye. He has one eye. One single Snake Eye. Give us something, another one, let's freaking go. Oh my goodness, we got another one. Superstar Slayer, this is just the ultra rare, obviously, but that's a really strong card. So we have two of those. We have one of the 25th anniversary slash quarter century. This is good. This is really, really, really good. Let's see if we can keep it up. Starry Knight, or Starry Dragon Cycle. Teray, we have a Realm Elegy. No SP yet. It is avoiding our clutches. It must be a short print. Or, oh, that's good. Wanted Secret of Simple Spoils. Or we're just getting unlucky. I, it, I, I take that back. It, it does not. Must be a short print. I don't know how to say that. Uh, it does. It's not for sure. I mean, just because I've opened like half the case. Because you can open cases and cases and just get unlucky. But it's possible. I'll say that. At this rate, it's possible it's a short print. Okay, we have. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to say that because then people will just start saying it all the time, you know? And they'll be like, oh yeah, short print. Yeah, I saw like half a case opening. I'm 100% sure now. And it's like that you can't be, you can't be with uh, with numbers. But I would like to be totally sure it's not a short print when we pull five in a row. Okay, let's see. Even though, even then though, that wouldn't be totally sure either because that could just be clumping or variants and stuff like that. So it's just some data. So you can file it away in your data chamber of your brain. Speaking of data chambers, let's pull that SP. We have the Tainted of the Testina. Watch out for the Tainted. Oh, look at that back card. That is straight up ding. That is beautifully bad. All right, Odd Eyes Acre Dragon. First time pulling that. The Acre. See, we, see, look, we hadn't even pulled one of the Ultras yet, so that shows you we don't know about the Short Prince yet. There's the Worst Horus card. We've pulled that before. And we pulled two of the one in, which is really good because the Wanted card is, I think, the second best secret, so we're looking good there. Seat spinning saplings. Still searching for more epicness in this long Yu-Gi-Oh opening. If you guys have made it to this point, you are insane. You are epic. I mean, it's gonna go even longer. So if you made it to this point, you want to get to the secret code, then you're gonna have to keep watching. You'll have to find out what it will be. All right. 
Teray, we have the Synchro Rumble, Rose Papillon. Rumble. Can we pull the SP? We still have not pulled the SP. Come on. How many times can we open a pack and not get the SP? And so far, it's been over 100, I think. 100 times. Age of Overlord, I believe in you. You can do this. You guys got to believe in the comments. If you are believing, then hit that subscribe button because subscribing means that you believe. And if you are subscribed, you are therefore a believer in pulling the SP. Here we go. Let's see if we can do it. We have another Noivelis. Is that how you say it? Noivelis? No Noivelis is what I'm going to say. SP, come on. We've pulled the best quarter century. We can't pull... Rocket Salamander, interesting. TG Rocket Salamander, more TG cards. Huh, this thing is up at 28 at the moment. That's actually pretty decent for the TG cards. I'm guessing that's the big one then for the TGs. All right, let's see if we can Manadium. We've seen that one a couple of times in this opening. You know which one we haven't seen a couple of times or even a single time? Let me know in the comments. Which one is it, Thistina? That's the dragon that defies... The divinity that defies darkness. Sorry, not the dragon. This kind of looked like a dragon, but... Okay, we uh, have... Not a dragon butt. I was saying butt after dragon. <laughs> Looks like a dragon butt. Yeah, dragon butt over there. Everybody, watch out. We have the miracle. We have the starry dragon cycle. Come on, Age of Overlord. I know you're a great set. Now really give us something amazing, okay? Something amazing. Starry night dragon cycle again. Back to back. We're going back to back. Okay, full armor. XD's Armor Fortress. Agov, where is your best card? It's hidden in here somewhere. Infernal Flame Banshee. We haven't seen that card yet either. I wonder if this is a 14 Ultra set or whatever. Sometimes they do extra Ultras, which is kind of weird. But it, it, if that's the case, we're actually doing really well to have pulled the uh, best Ultra a couple times, which is pretty nice. Looking pretty good in that regard. We have Divine Temple of the Snake Eye. That's pretty nice as well. Come on, baby. We have the Teray. We have the Odd Eyes Acre Dragon. Very nice. We have the Shino Baron. We have Burning Dragon. Come on, Age. Age of Overlord. Here we go. If you guys are enjoying the set, don't forget to check out the affiliate link down below. Sassy Auto, 5% off using my code. Ruxin Overlord, I believe is the name. Yeah, I know. The Overlord Ruxin. You got to watch out. Uh, you could pull the SP yourself, but it might take a lot of packs based on what we're seeing. We have the Starry Dragon Cycle. I'm hoping that we can pull one soon because we are probably over halfway there. We have not pulled one. So I'm hoping to turn that around. Switch point is not what we're looking for. What will be inside this pack? Snake Eye Ash. Still searching for that epic card. It has not been pulled way far into the video. Way far into the video. We have not pulled it, so... Fortunately, we do have a stream tomorrow, so we should pull it at some point, right? I and mean, with several cases, you'd think we could do it. Maybe I could do it right here to Ray. Okay, Blessings of Horus. That's the bad one again. That's three of those. Eh, not awesome. Not awesome on that one. We have the TG Mighty Striker. Okay. Where are you? XC's Armored Torpedo. At this point, I'm going to uh, go through the commons a little faster. AK, skip the comments. <laughs> because we want to pull something epic. We have pulled the comments before. Now epicness. Here we go. Supreme King Gate Magician. Age of Overlord. Come on, man. Come on. Vita. Car 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 How do you say that? Calicanum? Maybe that. I don't know. Embrace. It sounded cooler. Still a lot of potential left in these packs. And I'm hoping that this is where we get the craziness SP. Maybe I shuffle them all to the bottom because I did shuffle these packs around just so we'd have some variants and some interesting, you know, not just like every 24 packs pulling two secrets or whatever, just kind of the normal, which I feel like it has been pretty random for the most part. I haven't really noticed any pattern. Vanquish Soul, Zhanglong, Zhaolong. That's another Vanquish Soul card. Okay, these are ripping kind of interesting. They rip kind of like, they, they want to rip like right here on all of them, I feel like, which is different. It's actually, it works though, so it's actually not bad. Uh, Wings of Light. These have actually been much easier to open than some recent sets, so I feel like they've changed something or something. It's not like ripping it like around the corners as much. I think they, I wonder if they like actually change that. If they changed it so that it doesn't like, because it used to like leave this corner here and you'd have to like avoid that corner all the time. It hasn't done, Okay, maybe it has done that. <laughs> maybe it's done it, it's just like easier to get around it or something. Cause sometimes it's like really hard to get through that. I said that and then immediately. So I guess it's doing that every time, but the way it's doing it, it's like doing it on the front. So it's like a little bit easier. For, oh, oh wait, it also rips on the side. So that way it, I don't know. I can't really tell. Maybe it's the same. 
Maybe I'm just getting better at opening packs, who knows. With the cards all the way down, it doesn't matter as much, I guess. We have the Agdoidic Overlord. I feel like we haven't pulled anything in forever. Come on, we have the Happy is at it again. We have, he's gonna be happy, he's been pulled a lot of times. Come on. Okay, Sinful Spoil Snake Eye. Snake Eye Archetype, cool. Oh, that one, I think I cut through on the pack. Hopefully it doesn't have, has a secret. I didn't do anything to it, did I? No, okay, good. Okay, that could have been disastrous, but I didn't cut it, thankfully. Did not cut the card. That is good. We have, oh, another Sky Crisis. That is beautiful. Three of those. Three of those plus the, the quarter century. So we actually have four. It's actually pretty amazing. Really good luck with like, I feel like there's a lot of ultras that we've pulled like one of. So getting three of those is super lucky. Uh, Visa Samsara. Secret. There's a secret, but not the secret we're looking for. We're really not going to get an SP. It's been such a good case. We just need a couple SP. One at least. I mean, zero would be pretty sad because that's like the big, big card. We have the protection of the horse. Age of Overlord. We have Canopic Protection. Protector. Still a lot of packs. I mean, we are down quite a bit. We've opened quite a few packs, but there are a lot left. Tainted of the Testina. A lot of chances left, guys. There are a lot left. Fire Recovery. All right, we have Full Armor Dragonite Lancer Damage Common. That, that's, I, I don't know if that has a 25th, but that would have sucked if that quarter century was like, we're like, ooh, it's a, an Xyz, and it was the uh, Full Armor Dragon Ray Lancer. But like, uh, I don't know if it has one or not, but. The magi oh, I forgot. The Magicians of Bonds and Unity is what we're, is what is in here as well. I guess we should be looking for that too, but, and the SP is just so much bigger. The Magician of Bonds and Unity is down like 160 because it has two versions. It's like, I think, what was the first one? The first time we searched for it was a couple sets ago. It's in like the next four core sets, I guess. Uh, TG Mitre Striker, uh, or three, three or four, but this is the second version. So I guess we're kind of looking for that as well. But I think the SP is much more hype, so we're probably going to go for that. I mean, if we get the mo the Bonds in Unity, I'm not going to be mad. Definitely be okay with it because we never pulled it in the other one. And I was like, yeah, we got more sets to pull it. Yeah, it wasn't as much of, it wasn't as dire to like pull it because it's like, well, it's going to come out again in a different, it's like has a different background color, but it's the same card, you know? Okay, Seed Spinning Saplings, Age of Overlord, let's go. We have the Supreme King Gate Magician. I'm getting nervous. Still a lot of packs, so I shouldn't be too nervous, but still a lot of chances. Come on. Come on, SP, where are you? Be the Game Boy Advance you were meant to be. There's Rocket Salamander, that's a good TG card. The best one, I think. Come on. Come on, Age of Overlord, I believe in you. Oh, Glory of Horus, that's the good one, okay. That was like 38, I think. Pre-release. We have the, oh, another 25th. Testina, the divinity that defies darkness. I, I went, went a little too quickly into that one, but that is another Xyz we could have pulled. I wonder if this one's any good. Okay, this one doesn't have a price at the moment, but it's a $1 Ultra, so I'm guessing it's not that good. <laughs> but hey, maybe, who knows? Maybe it'll be a hard one to pull. We'll have to find out. So that is not... Probably an amazing pull, but hey, it's a 25th quarter century. Can we get a fourth one? Can we get an SP? That's what we really want. SP, please. Can you, Divine Temple? Okay. Still have not pulled one. So we're kind of looking a little bleak here uh, in terms of this case, looking for the best card that has not been pulled. We have had one amazing pull, though, so we can't be mad about that. Switch point. I don't know if we're going to... Um, I, I assume if we get an SP, we'll actually make our money back with the pre-release prices, but we'll see. I mean, we've been keeping it up throughout this in video, so you guys will kind of see what we're doing. Can we do it right here? Infernal Flame, Banshee, still a lot of cards left. SP could go a long way to us completing that goal of making our money back. A very long way. I mean, it would be over 10% of the case by itself, I think. Switch point. Can we pull one? I mean, we've, been, we've opened a lot of packs, but we might be getting close to the 200 pack mark. We might have already done the 200 pack mark. We have not pulled one. 200 packs. This is pretty tough. Come on, guys. Age of Overlord. Give us some luck here. Come on. This pack's being weird. Okay. Snake Eye Ash. Ash Blossom combined with... Snake Eyes, pretty cool. We have the, oh, Synchro Rumble. Give it to us. We have a Synchro Rumble, pretty cool. Can we pull the, man. I did not think it would take this long to pull a Secret Rare. Or at all, like, I mean, we can't be sure we're gonna pull one, I guess. Dark Hole Dragon Ultra. Is that our first Dark Hole Dragon that wasn't the quarter century? I feel like we maybe pulled one, but I can't remember. Medium, we've pulled definitely a few of those, four or five actually. 
Oh man, Snake Eye. Oh, so many Snake Eye cards in here. Can you give us something amazing, Age of Overlord? If you guys have made it this far in the video, use the secret code SP and the secret bears in the comments. SP and the secret bears. If you say that, then I know that you are a clutch, clutch viewer and you watch all the way to this point in the video. SP and the Secret Bears, no one else will know. They'll be like, what are you talking about? They'll be so confused, they'll be like, huh? Secret Bears, is this guy okay? And that'll be because they didn't watch the whole video. They only watched part of the video or they skipped to the end. They missed the best part, which is SP and the Secret Bears. So if I hear that from you guys, I know that you were dedicated to this video. I know you sat back, relaxed, you grabbed your popcorn, you were attentive to the video, or at least you were listening to the video. And that will prove your greatness. Okay, Xyz Armor Fortress. Everyone else will be proving their ungreatness. I was about to say ignorance. I was like, that would be a little harsh. <laughs> be a little harsh. Let's maybe not say that. Okay, we have uh, the Black Witch, Secret Rare. It wouldn't even really make sense. Ignorance wouldn't it wouldn't really fit. Um, but it's still a, a kind of a mean word. Age of Overlord. Speaking of mean words, I'm about to call you a few mean wor words if you don't give us an SP. Okay, SP and the Secret Bears will not be happy. Okay, Embrace of Testina. We are definitely down to the last few boxes here. Glory of Horus, that is a good card, I guess. We'll take that, come on. We have a limiter removal, TG limiter removal, interesting. Call back the limiter removal, pretty cool. We have a Wings of Light, super. Oh man, I am getting nervous. Snake Eye, Birch, getting a little nervous. Come on, baby. Protection of Horus, please, please. Bless us, please. We must be blessed. All right, the search so far, I mean, it's been good, but other than that SP, we are doing great, but the SP is trying to ruin our fun. And right now it's doing a great job of it, okay? We have uh, the Vita, Kalar Kandam, Kalar Kandam. There are packs everywhere. King Sarcophagus, haven't pulled that in a while. We pulled two back to back and haven't pulled one since. That's the second best ultra, we've pulled three. So the two best ultras we pulled three. So this is a great case, minus the SP other than having six of those. I don't know if Manadium is a good ultra, but we pulled six of them. If we can just pull an SP, I'm not even asking for two at this point. I mean, two would be great. I would be very, very happy, but one would be fantastic at this point. We have a fire recovery. Oh no, we're gonna need fire recovery after this one. After SP burns down our, our house, this is not great. Come on, come on, TG Mighty Striker. We have Burning Dragon. We have Vanquish Soul Zhanglong, a TG Mighty Striker. Oh man, it's getting dire. It's getting dire. Come on, we need some help. Switch point. No, how is this possible? How are we this low on packs and we haven't pulled an SP yet? We sure this is in here? Is this in the set? TG Limiter Removal? That's not the right secret. Oh no, the Ogdoidic Overlord. Wings of Light. We have Age of Overlord. Snake Eye Oak, come on, we're pro, I mean, we're looking at like 10 packs per, we're like 80 packs left, maybe, no, probably a little less than that. Probably a little less than that, Snake Eye Birch, oh my gosh, how, how can you do this to me? Age of Overlord, I believed in you. I believe you, I said I called you a great set, but look what you've done, look what you've made me do. No, okay, you haven't made me do anything. Okay, I'm not making Taylor Swift references, I've watched too much NFL recently. And I, I'm getting tired of it, okay? Just kidding. I would never get tired of Taylor Swift. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, protection of Forest. Come on. We have a, another Protection of Forest. That's kind of weird. Please, 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 please. Tell so me we shuffled them all to the bottom. We shuffled them all to the bottom, right? All five of them. We're going to get five in a row right here. It's going to happen. We have the Supreme King Gate Magician. Uh, hopefully the popcorn's been tasty so far because this has not been very tasty for me. I'm still searching for the card. Embrace of the Testina. Divine Temple, that's an ultra. Okay. Age of Overlord. This is your chance to turn it around. Yeah, okay. That's four of those. I'll take that. We'll take the Superstar Slayer Typhon. They're really trying to make up for it with all the Typhons. This would be such a good case if we could just pull a couple of those. Well, I, I, not, I mean, a couple would be insane. It would make this case really, really good. But one would just still make this a great case. Come on. Armored Torpedo, come on. How, how is this happening to me? Please give me the SP I need to pull one today. All right, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, happy. 
Oh my gosh, that's a fifth one. That's insane. Oh my gosh, that's so good. That is so good. Five of the Typhon, which is amazing. Now we just need one. One SP and we're happy. Five Typhon, six including the Quarter Century Secret Rare. That's really good. The rest though, SP, come on. I believed in you. I knew that you would show up and guess what? You're denying me my belief. Let's go. We have the Dark Hole Dragon again. We are down to the last, I don't know, two boxes, something like that, maybe three. Can't really tell how many packs are in these stacks, but we have definitely opened quite a bit and we have not gotten lucky yet. And it's not really two real boxes. I've mixed them up, so it's kind of a mix of boxes, but in terms of number of packs, King Sarcophagus, and that's four of those. That's pretty good. Getting the good ultras, that's for sure. This is the ultra rare opening. We have the Tainted Atistina. Come on, come on, come on. TG over Dragonar, Dragonar, Dragonar. What am I saying? Dragonar. Oh, this is getting nerve wracking. Oh no, I didn't think this would be like this. No, the best card in the set. Where is it? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my goodness, another dragon arm. There's like 20, 30 packs left. The all clear. We are really low on packs. We are 90% of the way through this opening and we have not pulled the best secret rare. This is gonna hurt. You dark hole dragon again. There they are, they're showing up. Okay, I just need the SP to show up just like the dark hole dragon right here. Wanted, that's place out of those, so that's really good. That's the second best secret, we have three of those. So that's good. I mean, if that card holds up like the price is right now, it'd be really nice. I think even without the SP with those one and all the, the Typhons, we're actually like doing pretty decent. It would be even better if we pull one SP right here. That would really make this an awesome case. It'd be like crazy good. I mean, we got two bad quarter centuries, but we got one really good one. So it kind of balances out to be like average on the, that front at least. So, yeah, we kind of need an SP to make it awesome. Okay, let's go. Come on. Oh, my gosh. We're down to, like, one more on some of these. We have Burfamet. Oh, um, well, we down to, like, le like barely... It's, like, 10 or 11 or 12 packs, something like that. Oh, my gosh. This is going to hurt. I'm not going to lie. This is going to hurt. This is really going to hurt. We have a Synchro Rumble. Come on, we need some major clumping right here. This is what we have left. This is the amount of packs we have left to get an SP. We need some major clumping. Let's have like five in, the, in these last 11. That'd be crazy. Okay, how about one? One will work. We have a switch point. Long video today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me some luck for the SP. We have the Rocket Salamander. That is the wrong secret. Come on. I see the pendulum. Okay, we're down to 10 packs left. We've opened 278 packs. We have not pulled the SP Secret Rare. Let's see if we can do it in the last 10. Come on. Embrace of the Tistina. Not there. Not good. Not good. Synchro Rumble. Come on. This cannot be happening. This cannot be happening like this. Armor Fortress. No. Please. Oh, this sucks. Snake I oh come on six left. This is gonna be so painful. We're just pulling supers here too. Glory of Horus. That's not good. That's not the right secret. I mean, that's actually a good card, but not the right secret. Five left. Five left. Come on, SP. Where are you? Or why? Okay. I said we can't prove it short printed, but there here's some data. We did not pull one in a case. Yeah. Oh, or we did the SP little knight fourth in the last pack as the the doubt was in was exiting my mouth i was immediately silenced by the sp little knight yes fourth the last pack how does that happen how does that happen that is insane i was i was sure we weren't getting one i was saying we weren't getting ah we didn't get one and then guess what there it was that makes this case really really awesome so Oh, thank goodness we got one. All right, three more packs. Now we hope for three more. Wow, I was not expecting that, okay? That was not expecting that at all. That's pretty insane. That was literally one of the bottom packs. That's pretty crazy. That's what on live stream people would be like, oh, <laughs> some insane clumping. No, it actually happened. Insane clumping. And by clumping, I mean, I mix these up, so I really created the clumping, but I mix these up and somehow put two of these on the bottom row. 
That is absurd. Oh my gosh. What a way to end it. 284 packs were open without one. And in the last four, we get two. Uh, that's pretty crazy. I'm not expecting anything out of this one, but if we get another one here, I'm gonna lose it. Okay, we got an ultra, that's not bad. What a way to end that opening. That went from a little bit sad to extremely exciting. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe because we're gonna be opening more of this tomorrow live on YouTube, so make sure you guys come out. It's gonna be super fun. And don't forget to check out the discount code. Use my code 5% off. Don't forget to get this set and rarity collection coming up. Shout out to Tone Fofo Show, Daxer, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto DN, American Doyster, Supreme Stage 21, CJ, Liu, Gwine 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and a tie show, Ian Musa Jr. Barding, Robert F. Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.